Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane and I'm back with day two of my Jinbao series. A fantastic set so far. I'm really happy to follow the advice of my buddy Kato to acquire this set because it's absolutely fantastic. He has a different version than me. He has the, um, I guess, oiled up version, dirty uh, Constructicons. Uh, and it's uh, pretty amazing. But uh, when we're talking about which set I should get, uh, I said NBK. Um, because the, there is another good one that Memo has, the const, uh, Constructor uh, from, I can't recall the company, and uh, but it's way too expensive uh, right now. So, uh, so Jinbao was the, uh, the best pick. And then today, my second least favorite uh, has to be Hook. Uh, transformation isn't that fun and the head how it works to go into the uh, like this is the head hidden um, it's kind of a I don't know they, they could have simplified it I think but uh, look at the style looks pretty good um, they're a little flappy there's a lot of tabs and everything but they hold really well and the face sculpts are pretty uh, pretty good for this whole set um, so he's he's not like I don't like Mixmaster, you saw that yesterday, but I, I do like him, I just I prefer the others. Uh, so we're gonna get this started, but before I do that, check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'll do until, I'm, I'm until I die. And uh, also uh, check out the at the end of the video my discount code for my sponsor DJC Collectibles. Uh, you can get 10% off anything Transformer. And so without further delay, let's uh, get this uh, second review going. Strapper. They brought out the heavy artillery. All right, out of the box, which I don't have. Uh, you get the instructions. Again, it says all the same thing. Builder, Dr. Crank. I guess robot number five. Builder. It doesn't, uh, well, maybe it does say what's the actual name of this guy, uh, according to uh, Jinbao. But it's Hook. Uh, who doesn't fit on screen. Uh, the uh, gun. Very simple, two articulation, looks good, and it stores in alt mode really well. In hand, oh, that's a tight uh, hand joint. It looks the part, looks really good. Some of them don't hold very well, but he does. And now I'm gonna remove that crane thing, because this is how they show you how to display him. And I think that's just a little silly. So let me uh, off camera. Okay. So this is the crane. Two points of articulation. So that you can actually, uh, when he's in devastator mode, it doesn't stick out too much. It goes in the back. So it looks pretty good. Uh, but I like the, the mushroom pegs, easy to remove. Looks really good. Uh, the crane and there's even an extension to it so it's very long so in alt mode it looks amazing but in robot mode I'm, i wouldn't display him with it uh, let's remove this i like hook yeah, yeah i really do he's you know compared to mix master anyway uh he's fantastic the uh the way that they hide everything uh, it's really neat so you have um the head rotation on a ball joint uh, you have this piece here this you can pretty much angle it any way you want uh, and this section here that's the head of devastator I'll show you uh, in uh, combiner mode I love the detail of this guy uh, oh I'm gonna show the light piping on this one it's a little simpler so if I go like this forward and there you go beautiful light piping this one way simpler than uh, mix master nothing in the way looks pretty good articulation 
you have the, oh that's a squeaky uh, joint and the ferris wheel here you have a butterfly on one side and you have well because of transformation you can lift them up like this this is the to hide everything you have an elbow rotation you have a more than 90 degree bend you have a rotation of the hand the end opens up and close you have well i guess you can't uh, you have the the huh everything kind of gets in the way with this but there would be a rotation if okay let's move it like that there you go so you have your merry-go-round and then you take this back in it's not that easy sometimes it's always on camera uh, you have the accessory here for the uh, kind of stairs you have a rotation oh you have this wonderful ratchet sound you have the rotation at uh, the upper thigh you have oh you don't have one well yeah you have this will rotate because of transformation but you don't have a rotation here you do have a fantastic bend and the foot is on that weird system so you can do this you have a nope you don't have a back and forth come on well no i guess you don't okay uh, and then the reason I'm doing uh, the legs like that is uh, the wheels. I'm, I don't want to force this joint. It's really tight and I don't think it goes all the way back. Uh, but it hides the wheel just good enough. You don't see them that much from the front. So oh, and this this always fell off. I'll uh, show you in a minute. Uh, so that's pretty much it for articulation. I mean, he's a good looking robot not a big fan of the transformation on this one but he does look good i mean the whole set of details that you have for uh the wheels um oh i'll show you those support later that's pretty cool uh the chest details uh, the whole waist uh, the silver purple uh, and green looks really good uh, you have all these mold details everywhere and those uh, uh, these are painted they're not stickers so yeah there's no stickers on this guy it's uh, just uh, paint but you have all the this is the back end looks really or maybe the front end looks really good uh, the wheels are at the same hard rubber yeah I thought they were plastic but uh, they feel more like hard rubber and um, in in alt mode he looks absolutely fantastic so, i really like this guy so now let's do some size comparison uh let's go with again grapple because of that one episode and uh, you can see the uh, very big difference in voyager 2 uh, this is over masterpiece like i said it's like ultra piece yeah i'm gonna coin it that's the ultra piece you have masterpiece you have ultra piece this is ultra piece here he is with slag i like showing him off with dinobots because that's that was their main enemy until Omega Supreme arrived. And my only other masterpiece, Sunstreaker, the best transformer of them all. MP39, this is a KO version, uh, which I haven't applied the decals for the windows yet. Well, there you go, that's Hook from Jinbao. He looks amazing, and I'm in love with this figure. And the other, uh, except Mixmaster, I'm in love with all of them. Uh, looks uh, really good. So now uh, let me transform him, which I don't like the transformation, but it has to be done. And here is Hook in alt mode. And he, I hate the transformation, but I love the result. Yeah, the crane with the extension looks really good. Uh, it goes up all the way here. And well, it dumb pegs everywhere. So. Transportation mode looks good. Put him like that. I mean, it's it's a really good uh, crane, which is going to be our French word of the day, gru, which means crane. I love this uh, this alt mode. Uh, you could use a little more details here. I mean, it's just full of uh, screw holes, uh, but that happened. 
Um, I would have preferred this, like this is where you hide the gun, but it's not super nicely fit, so it just kind of folds over. I mean, it still looks like a good cabin, but they could have uh, make it a little more solid. And here we have some gappage. Uh, it doesn't uh, tab in properly. Uh, but then you have this hook here to hold everything together. And then the foot will connect together and then plug on the side of the wheels here. Uh, really good. And underneath, you can barely tell there's a robot. It's really well hidden. It rolls okay. This wheel doesn't uh, always follow, but it's pretty neat. And the details for a crane, I mean, the articulation of the crane itself, you can have a, a a four-year-old really wanting to play with this thing forever that nice ratchet sound and everything and that extra you know you could uh, tell him that this is all the motors and everything for the uh, or the operating cabin for uh, the crane uh, this is where they hide the uh, devastator head and one little feature that I just found out uh, because it's not in the instructions you open this up like this like this and you have some stabilizing uh, port or unit or pillar or something. So I think it's a cool little little feature. I mean, it doesn't affect transformation. It doesn't. They don't need to put this in, but they did. So overall, very pleased with the uh, the figure. I mean, the uh, the details on it, the paint, uh, the standard Constructicon paint scheme. I love it. I love the silver highlights, the little uh, stairs uh, that you have, the guardrail, you don't need this, you know, Hasbro doesn't put this, headlights, uh, the grill, uh, the details are looking uh, pretty good, same thing in the back, I mean you can see the joint for the the, the arms, but still, uh, it doesn't come on, peg together, uh, so, and then you have the, uh, the back end, looks really good, I'm very impressed with this one. Let's do some comparison quickly with Rainmaker Acid Storm, Studio Series 86 Cup, and Netflix Nemesis Prime. And now I'm going to put him in uh, head mode, I guess, upper torso mode. So give me a minute. All right, quick reshoot, because when I power shot everything, this guy uh, somehow uh, didn't get recorded. So this is the upper torso and face mode of Hook from the Jinbao set, and it looks really good. It's kind of hard to Put everything together uh, there's some uh, some gapping this is I don't know why they did this uh, it's it doesn't uh, hold very well I mean you have this peg here but I mean it does the job it looks pretty good and then I'll show you when I do the devastator review the the light uh, in the face it's actually uh, pretty cool and this when you use in full Devi mode you want to fold it down like this uh, so that it doesn't look uh, too silly but uh, I like this mode so uh, as usual I'm not gonna do the uh, oh and then I'm gonna have to move those pegs out uh, for the arms so that's gonna be quite fun uh, as usual I'm not gonna do the uh, transformation back in robot mode so final thoughts I love hook he's good transformation is not that fun but uh, the alt mode looks amazing robot mode too and I uh, can't wait to uh, put him on top of Devastator to, for the full effect. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.